think a major challenge facing all the Middle Eastern countries is how, from a social, political, and economic point of view, they're going to absorb the youth bulge um, with the skills they have, which aren't necessarily at world-class standards, into a productive economy and into a functioning polity. What I worry is that the rich countries, through their migration policies that make low-skilled labor in those countries very, very expensive, is they create a distorted pattern of technical change in which technical change is destroying jobs that should exist in the world if prices weren't distorted. So in a weird sense, the border-based restrictions of the rich countries are, are permeating out through the world by creating technologies that lower the opportunity to incorporate uh, low-skill and medium-skill labor into labor forces. And it's a real issue that the world needs to address. I think one of the recipes is to actually allow more labor to move. If, in fact, workers and firm, if firms in the richer world actually had access to the labor they need, they would not be as adept and not be as interested in creating technology. So, for instance, uh, many billionaires and billionaire firms are working on a self-driving car or a self-driving truck. This is just not needed at all. There are billions of people on the planet that would come to America and drive trucks if they were allowed to in reasonable ways. Creating those reasonable ways of allowing labor shortages to be addressed with people, not machines, I think is an important part of creating a world that's going to be able to absorb the labor it has.